business communicates with the world. Your voice is your logo and brand, which speak to your customers through things like your website, flyers, brochures and ads. Creating eye-catching and effective designs can be very affordable and accessible these days. In recent years, we've seen many different types of design services become available for small business owners, some just the click of a button away. You can now outsource almost anything from logos, business cards, flyers, brochures, and even social media graphics, such as your Facebook profile and cover images. Uh, I need your help in creating a voice for my business, and I want my branding to stand out from the crowd. I'll also need to get uh, some business cards, uh, brochures, and graphics for my website. What do we need to do to get started? Sure, so the first step is to decide your brand identity. What is the personality that you want your business to have? Um, we can put together some ideas about um, what you would like to incorporate into your design, the look and the feel of the imagery, as well as really think about uh, what you would like to leave from your designs. I guess the first step would definitely be to try and understand who are some of your competitors. Adding design flair to your brand can help you stand apart from your competitors and really make your brand memorable in the minds of your customers. Attention-grabbing designs can mean that your email gets opened, your Facebook post shared, and your brochure used when deciding what products to buy. There are many ways to reach out to talented and affordable designers depending on your budget. The most popular ways are through referrals from people you know, or by searching the net. There are also websites such as 99designs or Design Crowd, where you can create a graphic design contest and only pay for the winning design. My advice, just be aware of what you're getting before you hand over any money. It's important to do your research before settling on a graphic designer. You should always ask to view previous work samples and discuss work deadlines, payment arrangements and milestones in advance. You should also ask them how much opportunity you will have to review and make modifications after receiving the initial draft. When it comes to giving a brief to the graphic designer, be descriptive. Provide as much detail as possible and include images of other designs that you like, sketches and a description of the colours and styles that you're after. Once the graphic designer has come up with an initial draft, you should review this and suggest tweaks where necessary. With all of the different graphic design services available, there is no reason why your organisation can't have a catchy logo, stunning promotional material and a Facebook page that makes an impact. Outsourcing your graphic designs can take a bit of time and patience, but will pay off in the long term. So, do your research and give your graphic designs the attention they deserve so you can truly stand out from the crowd. For more information, head to www.digitalready.org.au